Hello everyone, uh, there was an update to the Intruder Map Maker, uh, and I'm going to show you where to get it, uh, and how to update your maps with it. Uh, so, the package you can find in the Map Maker uh, channel in the Super Boss Games Discord, you can click the description uh, link in the Map Maker channel, and it'll bring you to this page. Um, this page has pretty much everything you'll need to get started. It has the Windows download for Unity, and this is the particular version of Unity that you're going to need. And then here is the Unity MapMaker package. So one thing you want to do uh, when you install this package is you want to um, uh, back up your current map, uh, save it onto a uh, GitHub or somewhere where it can't get overwritten and you want to download this package and then you want to go into unity you want to go to asset import package custom package and then the latest intruder mm package and then that will overwrite uh the previous uh package so i'll show you here how it'll look like so it'll prepare the package building the package list and then you'll click import and it'll say some of these are going to get overwritten or etc and then click yes uh, to overwrite those import and then it should be updated you might have to restart unity in fact i recommend you restart unity after updating your mapmaker package um, and then it should work so that's pretty much it for uh, how to update I'll go over some of the changes right here. So some of the changes they've added to the unit, uh, the intruder map maker is the addition of models for spawn. They have like uh, player models for scale in the spawn prefab. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they have the addition of these UI buttons, which is probably the most obvious, right? They can let you test, upload, uh, there's a help button, and then there's spawning, spawning stuff uh, right from the UI. Um, in here it lets you do different game mode things. You can create a game mode, hack nodes. Here are the uh, other proxies that are available. Uh, there is also some things that are missing, which, uh, for instance, the the balloon pickup. Uh, you think you'd be able to find it here in the assets and find balloon pickup, but no. Uh, you have to actually go and ask for it in the Discord channel uh, to get access to that. Um, it's not pinned in the channels so far, but it'll be available in the package at some point in the future. Uh, another thing is that they've included Saber CSG inside the Map Maker package, so now you can edit uh, geometry, and you don't have to install the plugin or the asset package for Saber CSG. You can just have it right in the Map Maker, which is pretty cool. And they have different textures too. It's uh, the textures in this Saber CSG look different from the uh, from the one in the asset store uh, at least the the outline preview is different because it scales according to what scale you're at which is pretty cool something else uh, they've updated activators so if you get out of this saber CSG and then look at activators you can see uh, the view on the right on the inspector tab is organized into different uh, tabs. You have your triggers here, trigger options here, you have your actions all in. These are the same actions. I don't think any actions have been added. You have the basic uh, options for those actions and triggers. And then this newest tab, which is the press tab, lets you see uh, how your activators are connected in your scene view here. 
So that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. If there, there's any problems or you need any help, there's the button inside the Unity, or you can go right to the MetMaker Discord channel, or you can go to the help channel. And yeah, see ya.